everyone another reading angelina sparkling deva um, this reading is on uh, you and money manifesting money and success and um, there's going to be seven cards in it so there's going to be a lot of information and you can choose between pile number one to the left and that's got red a, a tiny little piece of red calcite on it uh, or number two, group number two, with a tiny piece of green calcite. So please make your choice, then we're going to start the reading. Right, numbers one, we're going to start your reading. Um, the first card is uh, to describe your current financial situation. And with that we have the uh, Knight of Cups, the eel. I think there is movement in your financial situation is not stagnant because that's over there there is movement but I feel it's not steady it's back and forth up and down all over the place kind of so it means that uh, maybe sometimes it's stagnant and all of a sudden uh, it moves like an idiot again and then it, it slows down and then it goes and like that and and that can also pertain to your feelings and thoughts about money. Um, that sometimes you, if you want to manifest more money, that sometimes you feel like you really, oh, I want to do this. And then you really go for it and then you lose interest and or you, you get fearful or doubtful or whatever. And then you stop doing it and then you start trying something else again and then you feel it doesn't work out fast enough. Um, yeah, it, a bit like that. That's what this card tells me if, if your situation is like at the moment. Um, why are you currently under financial stress? Um, well, too much of a negative uh, way of thinking, looking at it. Uh, more looking at what you don't have or what you lost or fear of that you're going to lose what you have. Uh, as opposed to looking at what you do have and what you can manifest and you know a, a more positive mindset uh, I, I get a sense that it's mostly fear that is causing this fear that makes you f be more negative when it comes to money and your thoughts and feelings concerning money uh, and that's logical right because if you are in fear uh, concerning not having enough or well then then you yeah then you get uh, you pinch yourself off from manifesting, from getting more in. Um, and then we go to the third card. How can I relieve myself of my current stress? Then we have the three of stones, creativity. Um, yeah, that is uh, about um, going inward, uh, calming yourself down, which is, of course, difficult if you're stressed out. Uh, going into nature might help is get grounded and that's something you can actively work on uh, do some more grounding and um, I get this nature thing really really do uh, because then if, if you can manage to focus on something else entirely away from money or problems around money then then you start to get more aligned and then you can see clearly again then you can see what you can create then you can suddenly see like hey i've got all these abilities i can do this i can do that uh, i'm able to do to do this and, I've, and then you will see all your skills again and then you will get a more positive outlook could be that crystals can also help you to calm down i get that because she's touching these stones i never have had that but right now i do feel like the, the crystals and possibly to help you get grounded again uh, and mostly what I feel is because the way the, the roots are moving flow <clears throat> that's what you need uh, even though the money situation does move somehow you on the inside seem to be stuck stuck in this word likely uh, in negative thinking and fear and doubt and, and fear of lack and whatever and that's what you have to get moving again uh, nature can really help with that right because nature there is no fear in nature nature just does what it does 
birds do what they do no matter what they aren't afraid of lack of food or lack of whatever you know they just do their thing and and i know we are not birds <laughs> and butterflies and whatever but it can so help to spend time in nature and to tune into that vibration that everything just always goes on no matter what happens right um <clears throat> then i'm gonna remove these and then we go to number four something that you need to learn about money again i get that flow thing knowing trusting believing uh, that money uh, sh can and should flow a steady flow and that you can attract that and that you can create it as well and um the flow right is is just they are connected here it flows through her in the cup and through him in his cup it's flowing and it's also um being more in your heart space because this is a cup cups card two of cups card about love and um i think maybe also that you need to learn that you can um love what you do like what you do and make money with that or that you can enjoy how you are making money if you find more joy in that money will come easier then it will start that flow the law of attraction will kick in um and then in the next card something i can change about the way i handle money we have the four of bows celebration it's a four of wands this is about how uh, balance harmony <clears throat> feeling good also on the inside having that balance and that harmony so that goes straight back to this card that you you are now here and you have to learn to let go of that to enjoy more uh, just life in general but also um, how you handle money maybe you feel money is like a, neg a negative thing many people have that so it wouldn't be weird you know but money isn't negative money in itself is actually neutral but if you think about all the good stuff that money can bring you uh, you know nice things in your home and, and nice clothes that can help you express the way uh, you are and uh, it can get you places uh, so you can meet people uh, there's all these things that money can buy you and what do you think uh, of your uh, paying your rent and your mortgage and maybe you have fear concerning that because usually that is a huge lump of money but then be very appreciative that you have a roof over your head because you pay that rent because you pay that mortgage right and the same for when you have to pay for your utilities try to pay bills with gratitude for what you were given in turn for your payment and what you are going to be given like water electricity warmth uh, internet and all that stuff you know and if you start paying bills with another feeling a positive feeling of gratitude and more like kindness um that it buys you all these things then money will begin to flow easier into your life as well and that's very important um then we're gonna go to six how can i get a better relationship with money now uh, three cars flew out so i'm gonna make some space we have the full we have uh, protection the four of stones and we have the queen of cups the salmon now with this i feel that um <clears throat> how can you create a better relationship with money um again enjoy it more with that rainbow there don't be so afraid don't need to know uh how things are going to work out and and you don't need to know all the details and to, in order to feel safe and secure just occasionally enjoy be more playful you know even when you don't know where that rainbow is going to end exactly it's, it's it's cool and um trust trust that 
that you are taken care of, that the cosmos has got you and is looking out for you. And just have a bit more fun. Uh, yeah. Do more things in life. That's what I feel as well. And it can be small things like just going uh, for a walk maybe somewhere and then uh, somewhere during that walk or after that walk, go have a cup of coffee somewhere. It can be as simple as that. right? And then just enjoy that. And especially if you don't have a lot of money. Then really enjoy and savour that cup of coffee. Um, with the, um, the Queen of Vessels... I think that also means, uh, because uh, didn't that come up? Yeah, it came up a little bit with that card. Realizing that you have an awful lot to offer, a lot of abilities, a lot of skills um, that can help you, well, find happiness, but also manifest more money. Also, when you are happy, you automatically attract money much easier right because then you will have a positive vibration but this i'm 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 feeling that because this is a the salmon going back to the place that she was born to lay your eggs so when you go back to your roots and rediscover if need be what you actually like to do in life that can maybe make you money as well but also what your skills are and sometimes when we get stuck in fear we just forget Right? Sometimes we also get stuck because of our jobs and, and the routine and the ruts of the job. And then we basically forget that apart from bookkeeping, we used to be bloody good at painting or playing an instrument or whatever as well. So that you have to sort of rediscover as well other things in life that you were good at, are good at still and can do that are fun. And also with that and that card, I get uh, support. Know that you are not alone. You do have a safety net. Maybe you feel you don't, but you do. You do have a safety net. You have a roof over your head. Uh, this is just a little fawn. And a fawn is very vulnerable, but yet it is just laying down. It's feeling safe. It's not stressed out or anything. It is protected. It is looked after and taken care of. And so are you. You're not alone. And even if you don't have anyone who could help you, um, <clears throat> then the cosmos has got you. And also you have got you. But you, you, you're never abandoned. You know, you really never are. And possibly it can also be that you do have people uh, around you who are willing to help. It's just that you don't see it. And maybe there's people, plenty of people who are willing to help you if you'd ask them, but you just don't. And um, because you're too much here, right? <clears throat> so you do have a safety net, one way or another. And um, you, are, you do have a lot of abilities and skills um, that can improve your situation if it's bad. And you are being taken care of the cosmos is there for you as well and have more fun trust in that more become more positive and more playful and that is possible that is actually really the only way out because you're, if you're gonna remain in this situation it is never really gonna change because then you keep attracting more of this kind of stuff um last card something in my life that is already abundant and then we have the ten of arrows ten of swords instruction uh, with this i feel again there is help for you people who can help you who can instruct you pass wisdom onto you who can guide you in the right direction if you're looking for another direction or are lost like what do i do where am i to go there is help you are not alone um <clears throat> and maybe you're not seeing that, like I just said. But also, I feel you have that in you. You can also help other people and guide other people. And, and meaning you have value. You are loved. You are valuable. You have something to offer. And that is so bloody important. You just have to see it. You know, there's a lot of people who don't see that sort of stuff, who can't really let allow that into their hearts. 
a lot of people do give and give and please and give and or or even with their skills and maybe even at work but they can't really if they do get a validation and appreciation they can't let it in we are so bad at receiving people in general and so learn to see that all that stuff and learn to try to open your heart so you can allow it in because that will help you a lot as well you do have value you do have stuff to offer you do get appreciation right and if you're not getting it right now well you can easily get it because you have a lot of value you have a lot of stuff to offer so i hope this resonates and makes you feel a bit better please let me know then i'm gonna move to the numbers two Alrighty, numbers two Let's start your uh, reading. The first card is describe, is to describe your financial situation that we have the Three of Swords. Well, that is not very positive, is it? I think money uh, doesn't feel good to you. Possibly you have debts or you have had debts uh, in the quite recent past and you're still struggling with that and you kind of lost faith and um, it doesn't make you happy to think about money and to be busy with money and um, no it's this is not good this is really not good so I think your financial situation is also not too too good at the moment or uh, if it is okay-ish, then you have a lot of fear concerning money and your current financial situation. And maybe you are in fear that you might lose everything again or something like that. It, there is no trust, no faith. There's more fear, fear of losing money. And, um, and I really do think that either you are in debt or you have been in debt and took you a long time and a lot of struggle to get out of that and now you lost your faith and trust a little bit that it's going to be okay now that you are okay and that the future is going to be okay um, <clears throat> please let me know after the reading if this was correct because this is really quite specific right and um, moving to the numbers two, why am I currently under, under financial stress and we have the journey with the ravens? This is the death card. Um, yeah, again, not very positive, although it can also be a transformation uh, that you're going through a transformation. Um, but I do feel um, that you're uh, dealing with some stuff from the past and that could be literally uh, tying up loose ends concerning paying of a debt or uh, but it can also be uh, your own thought patterns and belief systems concerning money but uh, yeah it's it's also a, not a good card in that sense while you're under stress why you really don't feel good about money uh, or, your, or your situation is really difficult or you recently very recently got out of this very difficult situation and then you're still in that vibration uh, yeah and then uh, let's see how can I relieve myself of my current stress and then we have the lovers. Well, that looks good, doesn't it? And that isn't necessarily to do with a, re a relationship. It is more that you um, start seeing things more positively, start opening up again to a new beginning. And you start seeing the future as uh, positive, bright, and, and that you learn to trust again and that there will be a new fresh start and that things will be okay for you. It basically is about uh, making that choice to start looking at it that way. 
as opposed to looking at the fearful things and the negative things. And because that's not going to help you get out of that situation if you are still in it, right? That's only going to make things worse. It's going to keep you there. The only way to get out of that is to is by shifting your vibration. And in order to shift your vibration, you have to shift your perspective and what you're looking at. So dare to believe again. Try to get into your heart space more. Um, um, maybe there is assistance in uh, around you too. People who are willing to help you if you're still in a dire situation. So you don't have to do it alone. But it is important that you yourself start believing again. And start to feel more positive again. And start believing that things can grow. You know, like here, all these plants. And there is this beautiful, glorious golden light in the background. And as opposed to that, I mean, if you believe this. And this is what you're looking at. Or this is what you're looking at in your mind, right? This will help you to to get out of the uh, difficult situation. To change things around. Um, for the next card, something I need to learn about money. I need to have a drink. My throat is really uh, bothering me. Hang on. Uh, what you need uh, to learn about money. Um, yeah, this is a bit of an odd one. I, I think it, it's trying to say that um, you have to believe and know and that um, it's not... Um, settling, you don't have to settle, and uh, that no matter what you do, how hard you work, and uh, uh, that it, you never end up having more money. That it also that it, um, leaves you just as fast. So in that sense, that vicious circle that we sometimes get stuck in, uh, um, we you know, it's not you don't have to settle for less. There is for you abundance as well it is possible i mean look at that huge thick tree you know it, there's plenty of wood to keep the fire going to make bows and the bows you can sell to make money etc etc there's plenty of abundance it's not like there's a flimsy little tree or anything uh, and also to believe that you have to work your ass off to get money and to get out of, of problems etc because that's not how you um yeah sure if you really are uh, at rock bottom you do have to do that sometimes but uh people who are successful and who manage to get more money don't do that by working harder and harder and harder it's really it, i'm not saying that they are lazy and not doing anything and they put their feet up no not at all they are working but they have a different mindset they know that there is something possible that there is something bigger and greater and, and they believe in themselves they believe in their abilities they believe in abundance and uh, th th that's people who are able to manifest, to create. And if you don't believe in that, and if you believe that you always have to settle, and that it will always be like that, then you can't make more. Because what you will get then is proof that you indeed will have to work harder and harder, and you never get anywhere in life. You will lose it as fast as it comes in. Um, and I don't know if you if you know that you know I've had that as myself as well in the past a lot that I got money back from the tax office and I was really happy like yes now I'm out of shit finally there's some money I can put some in the bank to save right and then your car breaks down or the washing machine and or a huge bill comes in and then punk everything gone. <laughs> before you even manage to buy a new pair of shoes or something and then you get this, this this pair like oh is it ever going to change why does money not stay with me and that's because you don't have that mindset that it will right it's really mindset like uh, trump at some point he was a millionaire he manifested that and he lost it all he lost all his millions but a few years later, he was a millionaire again. That's because of mindset and belief and trust and knowing that he can do it. That's how people get wealthy and successful, right? And sure, they have to work. But it's not like working your ass off or doing something you absolutely fucking hate and getting three jobs. And that's not how you get out of shit. And that's how uh, uh, something you need to learn about money that... Uh, 
for you, it is possible too. It can change. It can. There is enough abundance in this universe for you as well. You just have to believe it. Um, five, uh, the question five, I have something I can change about the way I handle money. I'm going to put that there. Uh, the Blasted Oak, which is the Tower card. Um, a similar thingy. Don't be too afraid. Don't be too scared to lose things, to take uh, risks, even if it's minor little risks. If you do get hit, it's like this oak tree. I've said it a number of times in readings. If an oak tree gets hit by lightning, it doesn't die. It just continues to grow. It loses a limb. Maybe another another limb will die as well because of the impact. But it continues to to flourish and thrive and grow. And it just grows new limbs. And, you know, it, it, it doesn't... Um, do anything much to it so there isn't really anything to be afraid of and so don't be so scared to do anything to try anything to get out of your comfort zone or to maybe buy that cup of coffee occasionally or to take a risk even if it's a small one that might get you ahead or out of shit and just look at this it, it looks so scary this card right but just look at it if i turn it around look at it at his wrists and ankles they are are ropes there that are burning he isn't burning he isn't on fire the ropes ha that held him uh, tied to that tree and in that sense confined these are burning and they um, because now they're they're burning they're gone he's free so basically he liberated himself by taking that little risk by not being afraid I mean look at his face is he really looking scared out of his mind? Not really, is he? So it isn't all that bad. It looks quite scary and it might feel so scary, but it isn't. You know, you sometimes you have to do this kind of stuff to get a real change in your life and to get somewhere and to change your um, where you are at this moment. Uh, moving to seven... Um, something in your life... Oh no, hang about, sorry, I'm skipping one. Number six. How can I create a better relationship with money? Look at that peaceful card. Isn't that beautiful? Six of cups, reunion, two otters, water. Water is flowing. Money needs to flow as well. If you keep money um, in your pocket, in the bank, uh, under the mattress, because you're so scared to lose it and to spend it and you know you're going to hold on to it, then you will get lack. Because you're uh, telling the universe you don't believe that there is going to be abundance for you. Uh, money needs to flow. Money is a means to connect with other people, but also with your own happiness, because it can buy you things that make you happy, that make you feel good, uh, whatever there is for you. But it also buys you a roof over your head and food in the cupboards and, you know, all that stuff. That's what money brings you. Money is... Uh, is neutral has a neutral energy it connects it connects people when you spend money someone else makes uh, a living because of that money needs to flow if someone else isn't spending money you will don't you will not have an income whether it's a benefit or a paycheck right if you are a waitress or a waiter and other people don't spend money in a restaurant you're working in, then you will not have your tips, you will not have your paycheck. So <laughs> we need to spend money to, you know, to connect to, to it. yeah, that's how we keep everything going. And if you spend money, money will come to you as well. And that's what we see here, flow, it has to flow. But also the sharing with the two otters, they sit next to each other, looking at the water, maybe having a bit of a sip of water, enjoying time together in that tranquil, beautiful place. Um, sharing. And again, also not being afraid to spend a little bit of money because you know that when you spend money, it's going to come back to you as well. And uh, it can't do that when you keep it under your mattress and, and sit in fear downstairs like, oh, I haven't enough, I haven't enough, right? That's not going to work. 
I'm not saying you have to quander your money and, and just <laughs> spend it on all kinds of bullshit. That's not what I'm saying, all right? I'm just telling you don't be afraid to do things in life, to enjoy your, your life and live in the now a bit more, maybe, right? Um, yeah, really that sharing, I see with these two otters as well, sharing, enjoying, so maybe occasionally do go out and have a cup of coffee, maybe uh, take a, a piece of apple pie with that as well, or cheesecake or whatever <laughs> your poison is, right? Or maybe sometimes go to another place, where, uh, another town or so a museum, something you like to do and spend a, a few bucks on that and, and if it makes you happy then do that. And, uh, you know, um, now we are going to the last cards, something that is already abundant in your life. Now we have the seven of stones and the eight of stones, healing and skill. And so pentacles, what is already abundant, um, you have an, a lot uh, within you. You are... Uh, you know how to take care of yourself, of your safety, how you, yeah, that's because I feel you are this person, not that one, so maybe you were that person in the past, but now I feel, really feel you're that one, the green man or the green woman, and uh, you know how to relax yourself, to calm yourself, how to feel safe. I feel this is a lot about your home, your home life, or literally your home. Making yourself feel at home there, making it cozy and nice. Uh, kind of like your home is, uh, my, uh, is your castle um, and you feel protected there. There's this stone behind his or her back. And when you have a stone behind your back, you feel safe, right? If we sit with our backs to an open space or towards a window, it doesn't really make us feel so safe. That's primal instinct. And also there is this stone circle that they are set in. And, well, he's not set, but okay. Um, meaning safety, security, boundaries. And that's stuff that you have. That you can do. You can provide that for yourself uh, to... Maybe sometimes you need to withdraw as well in your own uh, space so you can recharge the batteries and you're also willing to invest time in uh, yourself and in your future and uh, you have to get out of fear because you were in fear still and um, you do have skills, you, you, you don't mind uh going through trials and tribulations to find out what you're really good at or if um you already have developed an awful lot of skills because there's a lot of different items here right that he's made and they look okay to me so i'm not like well that went wrong and that was <laughs> that's a failure no, you know they all look fine and um, i feel a playful side with this as well i really get that feeling that you know either your home life is really nice or just you on the inside is also possible if your home life is not so great. But then you have that on the inside within you. I feel something playful in, in that because of the hand. I, I really get a sense here that, uh, in okay, he, he is working quite diligently there, but at some point he's going to just dance around and just have fun and then just put his hand on that wall, punk, leaving his mark and just giggling about that, having fun about that, enjoying it. And uh, so you do have uh, abundance within and in your home, both or either or. If your home life isn't all that great, maybe you're still living at home or in a, in a situation where you're not so happy, then you have that place within, that kind of sacred space where no one can touch you, no one can really hurt you, no one can damage your core, your essence, your very essence, especially that's what this is mostly about. Right? If it's not your home life, then it's that, your essence. No one can really get to that. You are still you, you are still undamaged because you, you are very well protected with these stones and you still have the joy within you as well. I mean, you may not feel it at the moment if you're in a bad situation financially and stressed out, but it is there. You can tap into that. And that is very, very important to have. It's actually the highest good in, in life. If you lose that, 
then you you're broken and you you are not broken you are not broken yeah and that um, moves me to tears to tell you that so i suppose for some of you that was very important to hear that you needed to hear that anyhow um let me know if this resonated with you also if it didn't it is possible right and uh thank you for watching if you liked it please like it uh, if you if you want to please subscribe if you haven't done that already and uh, see you next time bye